If the mind is home to our perspective, closed-minded people keep the front door shut. They'll shut the door on new ideas, new experiences, new people, and even new versions of themselves. But what does it mean when we say someone is closed-minded? Sure, closed-minded people lack empathy, and they often shun any perspective that combats the one they've locked themselves into. But why exactly do we call someone with these characteristics closed-minded? Well, believe it or not, closed-minded people have actually closed a lock on a specific part of the mind being the subconscious mind, or at least the contents held within it. The subconscious mind is a storehouse of information we've gathered from past experiences. The information exists in the form of knowledge to make up what we call our knowledge base, or everything we know. We reference this knowledge to form opinions, shape beliefs, and respond to experiences. It's no different than an open notes test. Imagine that our notes are the information we have stored in our subconscious mind, and the questions on the test are life experiences. Assuming we didn't study for an open note test, because who does that, our response to any question is limited to the information we have in our notes. Well, in the same way, our response to any life experience is limited to the information we have stored in our knowledge base or our subconscious mind. This information is a compilation of our past experiences and learned knowledge. The image we paint of our beliefs is limited to its colors. The puzzle we piece together of the world is limited to its pieces, and the photo we take of ourselves is limited to its lenses. This wouldn't be an issue if the storage capacity of our subconscious mind was limitless, but like any data bank, it's not. We can only know so much, and that's because our knowledge base has a maximum storage capacity. Once we reach this capacity, we have a choice to make, leave the mind open or close it off. The closed-minded person is no more than someone who chooses the latter. Let's look at what that means. There is something called the explore-exploit trade-off, and it states that for us to explore new information, we must exploit pieces of old information. It revolves around the idea that our subconscious mind has a maximum storage capacity and can only hold a certain amount of knowledge. Once we fill that capacity, it becomes impossible to explore new knowledge without exploiting existing knowledge. It's like from the point of our knowledge base being maxed out. We've got to unlearn something in order to learn something new. Like a closet that's slap full of clothes, there will be no more addition without subtraction. And this is where the closed-minded person is born. Closed-minded people find comfort in locking into their current set of knowledge after it's maxed out. Instead of leaving their mind open to explore new knowledge and exploit existing pieces, they latch onto it and lock it into place. They identify everything they think to be true as what they know to be true. And this is the point of no return. The real problem with being closed-minded is, once subjective to your ways of thinking, you think you know better than everyone else. With that being the case, you'll listen to absolutely no one. You'll drive yourself down a straight and narrow path to isolation, not looking back until it's too late. This gets dangerous when we consider the possibility of closing the lock on a mind full of bad information. If you went to take the open notes test I mentioned earlier with notes full of bad information, you would fail the test by referencing them. You would fail before you even began. And the thing is, you could correctly transfer the answers from your notes to the test, but they are the wrong answers. So even though you were responding to the test questions with a method as effective as everyone else's, you were getting them wrong because you initially identified and closed the lock on the wrong answers. Well, we can also lock bad information into our knowledge base that causes us to respond to a new experience or shape our perspective in a way that feels 100% right in the moment, but is totally out of whack. If we initially learn the wrong thing but close our mind with it locked inside, we don't see that information as bad. In fact, we perceive it as good. And it's now a part of our knowledge base from which we draw upon to respond to any experience we have, from which we draw upon to form opinions, and from which we draw upon to shape beliefs. Please like the video if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and like the video as well. Thanks in advance. <laughs>